Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell, and we're going to check now our UVs against a texture grid and just see how they look and look for distortion now. So I'm fairly happy. This is my current UV set, and I'm fairly happy with it. This is my pig model, and I'm going to go to File, Delete by Type, History. Make sure when you're in the modeling or, or UV mapping stage prior to rigging that you check on that history and delete it occasionally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material, right click, I'm going to say assign new material. I'm going to select Lambert and then I'm going to load up a color file. So I'm going to click this button and then load up a file. Then I'm going to go to my finder window by clicking this button. And I have stored here in my Maya file. Here's my shortcut, my project's default. And uh, under textures, I have UV mapping. And this grid that I've created, I'm going to say open. Now it's not going to it's not going to display by default. So I'm going to zoom in and hit the number six on the keyboard. And here is a UV grid. And what I'm basically going to do is look for a couple things. Number one, I want to make sure that these little squares here look square. I'm going to look and see how stretched they look. Number two, I'm also going to see how clear and readable the letters are. And if they're nice and clear and readable or if they're stretched. And so far, just give it a, a nice examination. It looks really good. You're going to see here where the seam is, they don't exactly meet up because it's twisted around. So it's going to require a little bit of painting in Photoshop, but this is normal. This is where I wanted my seam to be. It's better to put your seams back here where less people are going to notice the seams than have it in the front where it might be more obvious. Go through and look for distortion. You can see a little bit of distortion. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes you want to fix it. If you decide you don't like the distortion, what you're going to do is you're going to go to UV mode. And what I like to do is select that UV, and I'll zoom in to both sides, and I'll just select that UV here. Go to UV mode. I'm going to go to my move tool. And I'm just going to move it until I decide I either like or dislike that texture. And you can see I can select any of these UVs and manipulate them. Now this is an example of too much stretching. You see how when pushing this is tightening it together and it's stretching along here. That's the kind of thing I want to avoid. Hitting F to zoom in. I'm just going to take a look here at these UVs, whether or not I like them, and they seem to be okay. Notice if I stretch too far, it makes these smaller, less square. If I pull in too much, it stretches them out and also makes them elongated. So you can see how much Maya has really done for us here. It's done a nice job on our UV map. See nice and clear and readable. So that is just going through and checking and making sure that everything's working nicely using a texture. And I think that about wraps up UV mapping.